each in some period of its life, during some season of the year, during each generation or at intervals, has to struggle for life and to suffer great destruction. When we reflect on this struggle, we may console ourselves with the full belief that the war of nature is not incessant, that no fear is felt, that death is generally prompt, and that the vigorous, the healthy, and the happy survive and multiply. Darwin had a very particular faith. He was brought up and very heavily influenced by the theology of William Paley. William Paley was the most influential theologian at the start of the 19th century, and he was a natural theologian. And what Paley wrote and what he reckoned was that, in a sense, you could read God off nature. Now, there's a very long and venerable tradition of that in, in the Christian church, but Paley pushed that, in a sense, to extremes, to the extent you could understand the true nature of God from creation, because creation was so happy and peaceful and at ease with itself. And that was the kind of understanding of creation and therefore of God that Darwin had. What happened in the 1830s, partly through his experiences on the Beagle and then subsequently through reading another Anglican clergyman called Thomas Malthus and then developing his own theory, is that Darwin began to realise that nature was, as it were, rather more red in tooth and claw than William Paley had thought so. And so Darwin's faith that, in a sense, rested on Paley's arguments fell apart because Paley's arguments turned out to be very much weaker than Darwin had originally recognised. So Darwin's faith, in a sense, theoretically fell apart because of the problem of suffering, specifically. Now, he remained a, a believer of sorts for a good 10, 15 years after those thoughts first occurred to him. But in 1851, he witnessed the, the death of his um, favourite child, favourite daughter, Annie, in Mulvern in 1851. And he was there for the entire week of her very painful, very degrading death. And if you like, this was the experience of suffering that brought the theory home to him. And he was no longer after that able to reconcile the God of Christianity with his experience of the world.